Has your smartphone been hacked? According to the experts, the answer is probably yes. And if you own a business, chances are you have no idea that your employees' devices may have also been compromised. Andrea Day explains. At the end of the day, everything is hackable. What I'm surprised about is that people sometimes forget that it's so easy to hack into these devices. Have you ever seen this screen pop up on your iPhone when you connect to Wi-Fi? The one that says continue? Chances are you clicked it. Everyone clicks continue. 92% of the people click continue on this screen. But that simple click could make you a target for hackers. Someone is trying to gain access to your email, to your password. They're trying to gain access to uh, all of your contacts, who you meet with, where and when. Do you approve? So me, as a security expert, I always click cancel. Meet Adi Sharabani. He used to work for Israeli intelligence. Now he's co-founder of a company called SkyCure. They help organizations identify and protect against mobile threats. We have top pharmaceutical companies, insurance companies, healthcare companies. But what Sharabani finds most shocking, he says unlike security for desktop devices, most organizations have no clue their smartphones have been hacked, even devices used by top execs. SkyCure runs attack simulations for clients to show them what's at risk. I still wait for someone to give me a call saying, you know, my IT department actually identified that demonstration of attack that you performed on me. No one knows. And Sharabani's not alone. Alex McGeorge heads threat research for the cybersecurity firm Immunity. You've got a device that you take everywhere with you, that you do everything with, uh, and that can be talked to or receive data from almost anyone on the planet. So it's very difficult to secure mobile against you know, modern, sophisticated attackers. Despite the challenges, the Wireless Association, CTIA, tells us, quote, the entire wireless ecosystem is working together and individually to vigilantly protect consumers. According to Sharabani, there are three main ways hackers can remotely invade your device. One, an attack carried out through unsecure Wi-Fi networks. Immediately as they click continue, the password has been shared with someone on that Internet. The second way hackers can attack? Through operating system flaws or bugs. We see that the average ratio is that more than one vulnerability being publicly disclosed every day. And 10% of those are critical vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities that allow someone remotely to gain access to your device and control it. The third attack is through bad or malicious apps, especially apps that are pushed or sent directly to you. Read. Those messages that are being prompted to us that sometimes say, this app will have access to your email. Would you agree? That answer should be no. And think about this. Sharabani says there's no such thing as being 100% secure. But there are many ways to reduce that risk. Make sure you update your device as soon as upgrades are released. And think twice before you connect to that free Wi-Fi. I'm Andrea Day for Nightly Business Report.